Hello everyone, welcome back to Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. In the last episode we did some IC2, um, that's Industrial Craft. And in between episodes, I only did a couple things. Well, first off, we're going to sleep. Um, so first off, I made this uh, Super Sound Muffler from Super Sound Muffler. And basically I can just turn off some sounds. So the pig noises, the chicken noises, and the cockatrice noises. Um, which leads me to the next thing. I hatched a cockatrice. Cockatrice? It's basically, whatever that thing is. The rooster lizard thing. I have it sitting up there. Um, basically, these chickens lay eggs and rotten eggs, and uh, there's a chance that you get a cockatrice. Anyway, these pigs, um, they're not just my pets, because I decided to go over to the tofu method, because my best friend basically said that she 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 likes pigs and so and she didn't want me to kill pigs so I've decided to go the vegetarian option and go soybeans so that changes um, the recipe a little bit so now we use the co cooked tofacon which is just cooked tofacon which is um, sugar which I've shown you flour which I've shown you salt which I've shown you cooking oil which is just two seeds and juicer and then it's this firm tofu which comes from putting the silken tofu in here. It gives you firm tofu and uh, I think it's the tofu milk or something like that. And you get the silken tofu by putting soybeans into this presser. And the presser is basically just made um, with two pistons and three, six iron ingots. So you put soybean in, you get silken tofu, you put the silken in here, and then you get the firm tofu. And then you also get this from the first process and this uh, soy milk from the second process. So that's basically how I'm getting that. Also the recipe of the um, tofacon is five times, so we are saving a lot of pigs by doing it this way, and I'm sure she will appreciate that a lot. Um, one more thing is I decided to plant these ender lilies on endstone. So basically that makes them grow faster. Um, I don't know if those bees are actually helping, but I'm just leaving there because they're not they're not hurting. So, yeah, found a few things between episodes. First off, that um, I'm gonna go ahead and go a little bit further away before doing that. So, this one you can charge up, then you can cause. I'll plant those three at a time. It was only doing one before. Ow. Oh, left click to change it so it can go single shot. Or go double shot. Wait, shit. Wait, wait. Yeah, left click on a block. Yeah, so we're just going to leave it in single shot. So basically that just charges and launches lightning orb, which causes a lightning strike. Uh, the Rod of Elevation, I'll show you in a minute. This Ender Orb is basically a reusable Ender Pearl. So, I don't know how much I'm going to use in these things, but, you know. And then let's show you the Rod of Elevation. So, right click it. Basically says, teleport yourself or the target entity up to the nearest surface above. So, I wonder if this works with them, if this water counts as a surface. Yep, sure does. Don't suffocate the squid. Just because I saved pigs doesn't mean I can suffocate other animals. Anyway, so those are some things I found between episodes. Oh, and how I made the end stone. Let's go down here a little bit. Uh, a couple more. I know I said I wasn't going to use them, and then I immediately used them. So basically, this stone barrel, it doesn't have its vanilla recipe. Uh, you use obsidian instead of the slab, the stone slab that you usually use. But, um, let's see. No. Here we go. You put lava in the stone barrel, and then you right click with glowstone, and it gives you endstone. You can do the same thing with netherrack if you use redstone. Uh, on this side, you make dust into clay. And there's a, bunch, there's a few other stuff, uh, a few other recipes that you can do. But, yeah, basically, that's how I got my endstone. And, uh, yeah, now that the sidetracking is done, let's get an IC2.
So, um, am I blind? I'm blind. Okay. Let's go with the compressor. Compressor lets you craft various compressed items, most notably dense plates. So we want a compressor. This one, right? Yep. So that's going to be not that hard. So I put my stuff away between episodes because I was in need of some inventory space for a bit. Oh, I need stone. Alright, and we don't want that many compressors. One is just fine. Okay, and then we want an electric furnace. Electric furnace is faster than a vanilla furnace and runs on EU. That's the power source of industrial craft. If I didn't say it. it's, I think it's energy units. Um, and then most other mods use RF, which is uh, redstone flux, I believe. Anyway, electric. So that's going to be an iron furnace and two redstone. need a furnace, which I believe is in this chest. Yeah. Alright, so like that, and like that. I believe the iron furnace is also a little bit faster than the vanilla furnace. Um, so yeah. And is there not an upgrade to this? Induction furnace. Yeah, that's what I thought. So where is it? Ah, there it is. Oh, it requires an advanced. Okay, I got you. Let's go ahead and make the blast furnace because um, it'll turn iron to steel and it's required for. Um, also, we can get rid of these. No, not that. Um, it's required for the machine block. The uh, advanced machine block. You need steel plates for it even though I have the ability to get steel plates already. Um, so let's see, the blast furnace, when supplied with heat and compressed air, turns iron into steel. Supplied with compressed air, you'll need to craft at least one universal fluid cell. Uh, universal fluid cells are crafted with four tin casings around glass pane in a plus shape. The cells are hidden in JEI as they take up a lot of pages, and fluid containers in JEI tend to cause some lag. You fill the cell with compressed air by putting it in a compressor. Let's start with the blast furnace and the electric heater. Let's do bla not blast and heat, not that, and, and then all right. So electric heater. Let's start with the blast furnace. So we're gonna need these. Uh, hmm. The metal form request. It's the next quest, in fact. The metal former can turn various metals into cables and plate counterparts. So, metal former. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this. So, that's going to take copper cables, and of course, I don't have any copper plates. All right, so here we have our coils, and then we needed bronze plates and chest. So we're gonna want a chest. Let's make, yeah, sure, that's perfect. Um, we want bronze plates, which is just bronze. Should have done that between what I cut just now, but it's fine. I don't have a lot of bronze. So bronze is three copper. Um, two, three, uh, one tin. If I can find tin. Oh, apparently I'm out of tin too. Well, I think I have ore. Yeah, there it is. So we want seven of that. Alright, you take these bronze plates and you hammer them and you get two. And of course it takes an odd number. Oh wait, no, I guess there's two of them, so. I was going to complain that it takes an odd number to craft that, but... If it takes two, that means it's an even number. Quick math. 
All right, what are we missing? Nothing. All right, we've got the metal former. So let's go ahead and set that up. I might like this rod of elevation. My base is kind of set up in a way that really makes this rod of elevation nice. I would like if you shift right click for it to um, make you go down, but it's fine. Anyway, so we got extruding, which I think turns ingots into wires. We got rolling, which turns ingots into um, plates and plates into the item casings. And then we have cutting, which turns plates into wires. So this will be a little faster, maybe, than um, the smelteries have been doing my plates recently. Anyway, blast furnace, right. So we're done with that one. So blast furnace. Took seven iron casings. That's really slow. Let's see if that turned it to. Yep. Faster, but uses more power. And we're like out of power, so let's go ahead and throw in maybe 16 more coal. Oh, that's that's loud. This is silent. That's loud. Anyway, what else do we need? Um, heat components, which is copper plates and plastic or rubber. So, what does it say? Copper plates? Um, storage. Need one, two, three of those. That was too much. Maybe it was just perfect for that amount. Anyway, back to storage where our crafting is. And there's one of those. And there's one of those. I would need just the heater. Okay, so that's going to take another RE battery, another heat conductor, and six more iron casings. We need three of these. And let's see, we're going to need three of those. Uh, there it is. It's also probably too much. Well, I guess not if I let it charge up. Then I know I can already I already know I can do this. And storage. Alright, so we want one of these. And oh yeah, that's right. Ten item casings. And the rest of the redstone on this deck, I guess. That'll do. Um you know it's the same thing if I do it this way as it is with going and doing the machine. Just cost durability versus power. So, there we go. Now I need the universal food cell, which I said was what, tin? Is that what it said? Uh, four tin, around a glass pan. Do I even have four tin? Uh, of course I don't. So, I'm gonna go get some tin, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm down and had an, uh, what was I doing moment? Wait. Is that all I said? Uh, cells are crafted with four tin casing around glass pane in a plus shape. Oh, tin casing, is that what I said? Ah, I gotcha. Um, but yeah, I had a what was I doing moment and I made an RE battery. Because I was like. Because it was still on my page, so. Um. See if I can find the recipe in here. That's can. Hmm, guess not. Anyway, tin casing. So we want like two of these. And
There we go. And back to storage. And let's see if that works. There we go. And I'm going to save that recipe over there. Because, um, universal. Not in there. Um, so, that's that quest done. And although we have better ways of making steel, that's always an option too. So I need a chest for this mod, I guess. Yeah. Well, we'll just kind of put it right here in the way for now. Compressor we're going to want. Electric furnace we're going to want. Heater we are not. Well, I think you can also heat the electric furnace with that. Um, but I don't know how that differs from just heating the electric furnace, so... I want to take that coal out, otherwise it'll just power, use the coal to fill up this little tiny buffer and then waste it basically. Uh, requires advanced alloy, okay. So, the crafting component, advanced alloy. So, that takes a mixed metal ingot, which takes iron, bronze, and tin plates. So we got iron, bronze, we need three tin plates. We're going to get double craft of this, actually, because that's the easiest way. No, not in there. And there we go. Wait. Oh, it's plates. I'm done. I'm still going to get double craft, though. Um, Alright, so... Here's those, then in a compressor. Yeah, this rod of elevation is nice. What's craft recipe? Oh, it's not even that expensive. An ender pearl and a blaze powder is the most expensive part of that. Compressor. I need to reorganize these because I feel like the metal former should be on the far side and the macerator should be next to the engine furnace. Wait, I don't need a wrench in this pack. all this around. Okay, electric furnace. Um, extractor, metal form, no, no. Mace Raider goes there. Metal form goes there. Even though I'm not using the machines, these machines, oh, that takes forever. Much faster. And it doesn't suck away the power. Okay, got the advanced alloy. Sweet. Alright, now... Advanced machine casing. This is a crafting ingredient needed to craft higher tier industrial craft machines as well as being the main ingredient in the industrial for growing machine case. So. That recipe takes four steel plates, two carbon plates, and two advanced alloys. And... None of these look like machine blocks yet. Oh, that's how I get into the harvester. That might be nice so I can automate my farm for my food. Hmm. Of course, it leaves me to get sidetracked. Uh, this one, machine case. So it's one to one, I guess. With the refined stone, which is just uh, my, any stone, grout. And clay dust, which is makes ready clay. Okay. Anyway, back to whatever I was doing. Um, let's see. Let me see the recipe for this carbon plate. Comes from compressing a raw carbon mesh, which is two raw carbon fibers, which is four pulverized coal. So that's yeah, eight coal per, or eight, eight pulverized coal per, and that comes from. Which machine do I have? Mace Raider, Mace Raiding Coal, or... I don't think I have the Crusher yet. Yeah, I don't have the Crusher yet. So, Mace Raiding Coal. So it's going to take 16 per machine block. I'm going to make two, so... 32 coal. 
Yeah, this needs more durability, honestly. 32 uses is not enough. In my opinion. Oh, that is loud. Why does IC2 keep going back up? Oh, that's too much. Maybe not. Anyway, we'll be back when this is all done. Alright, and here we have our two advanced machine casings. So, let's go ahead and claim all the quest rewards. Alright, and there's all those quests complete. We got ham and sweet pickle sandwich. Doesn't sound like the most appetizing thing, but it's got grain, protein, and vegetable. And it's uh, going to be our food source for the next little while. Along with random animal spawn. Eight of them. Right click to spawn from Animania. Hmm. Do our pigs want friends? How do you make these? Can you make them? Oh. Two magic beans and a... Eggs. Okay. It's not that hard. Alright, here we go. Ooh, a hedgehog. Cows. Another hedgehog. A peahen. Hey, look, it's a pig. A pea chick. And a dwarf buck. Interesting assortment we got here. Um, I know there's a way to tame some of these animals, but, uh, you know, I'm not going to figure it out. Anyway, music disc, that's lame. Ooh, ender chest, that's only one, that's lame. Architect saw bench. Interesting, this makes, uh, lets us make some differently shaped, uh, blocks. Including, like, rounded, you know, like, things that shouldn't exist. This is an impossible object. Anyway. Um. Signal. Ooh, conversion kits. That's a good one. Another warp block. Eh. Uh, sausage and bread. Sunday roast. Okay. And we got some blocks of signalum and another helium collector. The signalum is good. Um, because that is kind of, well, I know he's tedious in this pack. Let's see. Um, hmm. Fluid infuser. There we go. So yeah, it's, well, maybe it's annoying. G stable redstone and this. That's just copper and silver. And it's only used to make the signal. Okay, that's not bad then. Let's go ahead and put our other helium collector right there. They're both, well, that one collected all the helium a long time ago. Um, hmm. What a mess of an inventory. Alright, so since we're doing quests, I might as well get this induction furnace out of the way. And recycler. Hmm, that's some pretty late game. Well, maybe not. Recycler produces scrap if you feed it with items and power. Scrap can be used to drastically reduce the amount of power needed to produce UU matter. Let me look at this again. Mechanism. Mechan. Um, these. What do they cost again? What am I missing? Electrical steel, which can be made. That's actually not that far off. I can definitely make that. Okay. And then this. These are usable, so that's not going to be a problem, because I can make 16 GP easy. And the basic coils, which is a Inori. Which means I need an atomic rate constructor. Which means I need a little bit more forestry. Yep, just forestry. Oh, and... No, that's not bad. Hmm. Well, that's, uh... Let's actually get on that. Let's see what this take. Yeah, that's not hard. It's not hard to upgrade them, apparently. 
So let's go ahead and save this recipe. Get rid of that recipe. And you know what? Let's do our uh, let's craft our cyclic item per the video, even though I haven't been doing that like I wanted to. So it's going to be 16 glowstone. And it was 4 lapis and a diamond. Diamonds are over here. Alright, and if we put that over here... With... This will repel um, monsters within 32 blocks of it. So now hopefully, we go over to the walls. We don't, yeah, we still have monsters, so... Hmm. Let me see. Repels hostile entities away from it every few ticks. Go ahead and put this like kind of close to our little door over there. And let's go to the bed. And let's see what that did. Hmm. Hey creeper, come here. It's not doing its job. Does it have to be given a redstone signal or something? I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to do, I guess. So, back to what I was doing. Let's first off start with the electrical steel, because that'll probably be the easiest part. Can I make it in here? No. Okay. So, silicon is made by smelting quartz dust. Or apparently there's a whole rabbit hole to do this. No. Okay, well, anyway. We don't need that for the machine to make it. Alright, this zombie is so loud, no matter what level I'm on. Anyway. Okay, so it's going to be steel and silicon in this. So we need two bricks, a furnace, a redstone. Oh boy. We can actually make all that. Thanks to what we've been doing today. So redstone. And... His name is and... No, that's not what I wanted to do. Hmm. Alright, anyway, we were getting two bricks, a furnace, um, four lead atom casings, graphite block which is just smelted, no? No, that, oh there you go, it's this one, smelted coal, or charcoal. Let's go ahead and get just a stack of that going. That's not what I wanted. There we go. And now we need lead stuff. So don't I have lead? Oh, there it is. So we had four. How many sheet metal does that make? So, yeah, four makes four. So we need four ingots for that, two ingots for that. And this is about to break. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, metal former. Alright, and there we have our four basic plating. I'm glad I got that right, because uh, I didn't see what the recipe gave. So now we're just missing the copper solenoid. Which means we're missing two aluminum rods and two aluminum casings and the mixed metal ingot. 
So, I know the aluminum rods I had. I don't know if I still have them, if I used them all. Hmm. Alright, so here I have our copper solenoid, and I think that's it. I'm using a brick. How, how, what, where'd that brick go? No, I keep clicking the wrong button. I meant to click T, not A. Oh, apparently when I got the uh, aluminum rods out, I put that in there somehow. Anyway, there's our alloy, alloy furnace. And break? No. Interesting. I would have thought that broke. Hence me saying break with the question mark. So I have to use these because I've updated the pack since, but last I checked, the medium voltage uh, insulated coils weren't working. So if they're working now, I'll gladly use them, but we'll see. Oh, they might be working again. Sweet. All right, then I'm going to take down these because they hurt. So I need steel and silicon. Oh, and if you have a problem with the way I say silicon, uh, go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below and I will ignore it. Uh, how would I go about getting this into what I want to be? Yeah, that's what I thought. The only way I have available right now... Do I not have one of those, actually? Oh. Maybe the Mace Raider? Great. Yep, okay. So while we're waiting on that, let's get our steel. Honestly, this book is so helpful because it doesn't use that much inner, er, XP. So I don't need this much uh, electrical steel, but I like overdoing things, so. Go ahead and put some more coal in while we're here. Alright, and I need to smell this actually. Oh, this thing has to heat up. Hmm. Wow, quiet down there. Alright, we're going to leave that to be really loud over there. And, uh... Speed and energy upgrades could be in this thing. But right now it takes 1500 oh, R for tick. Yikes. Calm down. It's going to be okay. Anyway, what are we doing? Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Oh, right. So now, we need... Hmm. Okay, I got impregnated sticks. I got aluminum wire. So I need this. Which requires four steel plates, an iron casing... Alright, I need to get into forestry. I will do that next episode, because this episode's already going to be a little bit long, I think. So, thanks for watching. Like if you liked, uh, comment down below if you don't like the way I say silicon. Um, I think it's silicone, is how everyone says to say it, but silicon's how I'm going to say it. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, liking, subscribing if, uh, if I earn that, and I'll see you next one. Thanks. Bye.